Oh, okay. All right. And you also decided to re-record Gothic and Our Savior in this uh, 2013 edition. And why those songs and not others? It was mainly because we wanted to go right back to the beginning. Uh, we wanted to do specific songs that were like the kind of high points of that time. So Our Savior was pretty much everyone used to like to hear that song live when we, when we used to play when we were teenagers. And also Gothic, obviously, is a bit of a pinnacle song for that for that album. So it was more about really going back and, and you know, the, the roots of the band come from those songs, you know. So it was about, you know, we could have done something off, off Shades of God or Icon, but it did, there was no point in doing that. You know, we wanted to go right back to the, to the, the old, you know, yeah. the, the songs that kind of started the band, really. Great. And uh, most of these songs on this right this album are songs that didn't make it on other albums. Uh, do you see them as left lovers, like songs uh, maybe not worthy, but less special than others to be on official releases? Um, it's it's a weird thing because a lot of the time we have done B-sides that I think are better than some album songs. You know, uh, yeah. it's, it's we've done quite a few that are, you know, in my opinion, you know, as good as the album, but for, for whatever reason, they didn't make it on the album. So it's, but so, but I mean, a lot and the songs that have kind of got under the radar, people don't really know they exist. You know, we've done a lot of songs that people just never heard for because maybe they don't want to, they can't be bothered because they think, okay, they're B sides, not interested. You know, uh, so it was, it's just an opportunity for people to hear these. Uh, you know, and it's that's why we're releasing it as a 25th thing because it's just kind of like a these, you know, this is stuff that you you, you may not have heard, you know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that's pretty much it, really. Oh, great. So before the internet, you were trading most of these songs on tape through a normal post, uh, the post office. Uh, that was really an underground scene and everything has changed since uh, we have the internet. Uh, do you miss anything from those days? I miss the innocence and the, I miss the excitement um, of when it was kind of a small thing and it, and it was a, it was a scene when it was a small thing you know I, I miss that when something becomes I was like mass appeal madness it just becomes a little bit boring and predictable it's I do miss like a, it's like a club you know it's like being in a club uh, when that goes I mean even Metallica was small then you know they were like our, our own band they were like our band you know yeah. and it became a global band <laughs> it's like uh, yeah, I miss that element. I miss the, the kind of club, the, the the underground thing, where there's a few guys into the same thing. And yeah, it's like a team, you know. Uh, but it's that was then, and this is now. And it, you know, those days are gone. And I mean, the internet has completely changed everything. I mean, even you know, it, or even up until 1995, it was still very much kind of like that. But now it's just completely changed everything. You know, it's it's like reinventing the wheel, really. You know. Exactly. And um, well, you also had uh, Simon Effemi producing uh, what you call the raw element in these recordings. Is it a starting factor to have him back with you? It was just good to. It was just. I mean, our biggest album is Looking in Times, and Simon was was part of that. So it, we thought it might be, you know, fun to get him over to do these songs, you know. And he's a good guy, you know. We're good friends, and so uh, he was up for it. So I mean, it was it was good fun, you know. It was very real life. We all know each other, so it's. You know, and uh, no, it was good to catch up with him. You know, we haven't really seen him too much since '95. We see him now and again, but not that often. So it was great to see him again, and you know, he did a good job. And yeah, you know, it was it was just a, about making it fun to do. You know, and and you know, and getting a result as well. So yeah, it worked out okay. Cool. And is there any more songs that are left and escape these release of varieties? Do you have more varieties out there? Um. I don't think so. Um, I don't know. I mean, we've written a lot of songs. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. I think I think we've released nearly everything now. Everything must have been released now. Oh. I, I don't know. Oh. I, don't, I mean, I, I it's hard to keep track. My I, I, even I have trouble keeping track of it. You know. So. <laughs> okay. So um, for you, hearing these B sides collection from all the albums is like uh, hearing the progression in the sound of uh, Paradise Lost. I don't know. For me, it's just sometimes I hear the songs and I, I don't recognize them as being part of Lost because sometimes I haven't played them much. Uh, yeah. You know, after they've been recorded, and obviously when we do the album songs, we play them live, so I hear them all the time. But some of these songs you don't play them for years, you know, and then you hear them, you're like, oh wow, it doesn't even sound like it's you doing recording it, you know. Um, I once heard the uh, 
it's not on this album, but I heard the Smiths cover that we did, How Soon Is Now, yeah. uh, in, a night, in a nightclub. And I didn't even recognize it as part of Sauce. I didn't even know it was us, you know. I thought it was another <laughs> band. <laughs> All right. Because it was, it was so long since I'd heard the song, you know. And I was like, who was that? And they said, oh, it's you. I, went, I couldn't believe it was us, you know. It was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's, 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 I mean, especially the cover versions, you tend to record it and then you forget about it, you know. But, I mean, the... Um, the everything, everything but the girls cover. I really like that. You know, I, I, I think that was very rushed and we did it quickly, but I, I think it's come out really well. You know, so All right. that's one of the, my, my my favorite uh, covers that we've done. I think. Yeah.